Okay, y'all, so whenever you're going to use the syringe pump here on your Prismaflex, you have to make sure that the machine knows which brand of syringe you are using. Um, we use these BD syringes. The reason why these are important is because they may, um, they may have different widths, um, different stuff like that, and so the machine needs to be told that. So how to set this up, essentially you're gonna have your machine on and you're gonna go to custom mode. So once you click custom mode, it's gonna give you a bunch of information here. Just go ahead and press continue. After you press continue, then you can go to syringe and you should see BD here. If you need to modify then or change the syringe brand, syringe brand, then you're gonna click there and you can go from whatever different brands we have. We should, we have the BD syringes all the time. Um, so go ahead and make sure that's that. But of course, confirm with the syringe that you're using that this is BD. And then once you're good, then you can go ahead and exit. And you can go ahead and start your patient and you'll be good to go. So we have our filter already loaded. We have here our syringe full of heparin. This heparin is going to be the 10,000 units in 10 ml heparin. Um, so we'll get to, we'll load our set, we'll hang our bags, and then we're going to have to install the syringe. So it has the nice pictures of everything we need to be doing. First step is to open the plunger clamp latch and press auto down, remove syringe if already installed. It's not there, so we're gonna press the auto down button. What that's gonna do is that's gonna lower this all the way down. So that way then I can put my syringe in. So next it says to free syringe line set from outmost clip and connect to the syringe. So this clip right here, we're gonna connect to our syringe. Can you see that? Thank you. Perfect. The next is going to be place the syringe in holder, insert syringe's wings into the syringe holder slot. Do that. These are the wings that they're talking about. This is the slot. Now we're going to press auto up and wait until the arm reaches the syringe plunger. We're going to press auto up. And this is going to come all the way up. It's like, no, I'm done with you. Okay, now we're going to press this in and we're good. It says close plunger clamp latch and press continue. So we're good to go. Confirming that the wings are installed. That's good, that's good. This is secure. We're good to go, confirm. And then we can go ahead and prime our entire system. All right, so once your filter has primed, it's going to give you the screen where you can change all your rates. You'll confirm that. And then it's going to have the anticoagulation settings. Now remember, this machine does not know how much heparin is in each ml of the syringe. All it knows is that it's going to go at a certain rate. So the patient here is getting 500 units of heparin every hour. And so since, that, since the concentration of the heparin in this syringe is 1,000 units per ml, it's going to be going at half an ml an hour. So this is actually the lowest that that can go. Um, so just so you know, if you have something different, that is, this is the minimum amount, so you should let your nephrologist know. Um, it's going to be giving a continuous delivery. You can also do a bolus delivery. Um, you also just want to make sure that this is the same syringe type uh, that you have on your heparin pump. So this is the 20 ml BD syringe and that's going to match exactly what's down here, 20 ml BD syringe. So we're just going to press confirm and of course you can change um, this here and then if you need to change your syringe you can as well. So we're going to confirm and then we have our settings here. So when you're ready to change your heparin syringe, it's going to give you a screen like this. So what I'm going to do is press change syringe. 
He says the sy syringe contains prescribed anticoagulant. Continue. So it's the same as when you're setting up the circuit, it gives you step by step with the pictures. Clamp syringe line. Open syringe clamp plunger, so you have to make sure this is pulled out. Press auto down and wait until arm reaches lowest position. So you don't have to hold it, you just press it once and it'll pull itself down. It's done. So it says pull syringe out of holder, disconnect and discard. We actually have an order to refill ours. Pharmacy said they are not gonna be sending us pre-filled pepper and syringes. Cap it. So this is the order, it's 10,000 units and 10 mLs. You do not need to dilute it, you just draw it straight up. Make sure there's no air in it. Okay. And then like we're gonna show in the other video, it's very important that the name on the syringe, BD, matches the type of syringe it says on there. So it's out. Place syringe and holder. So I'm gonna snap it back in there with the wings here. Press auto up. Can you disconnect? If I was not making a video, I would not have a sharps in my hand. Press auto up. important that it stays clamped during this it'll stop when it gets there you need to turn it a little bit because this needs to close onto the wing that's what I did there and it's all good in the very last unclipped syringe line press continue make sure syringe wings are secured which is here they are secure they're snapped in and then syringe line is unclamped it is the plunger clamp is latched on and closed. It is, and it's fitting into this little groove here. So it's all good. And that's it, it should recalculate itself. Realize that it has heparin now. Um, and when you're just refilling the syringe, you don't need to reset the amount of units it gives every hour. Um, it's just like the, the bags, it, the program stays unless the filter clots and you have to start over. And that's it.